Okay, first try. I haven't cinched it yet. I just chained it. We'll see how it goes. Right, perfect as planned. Now I'm gonna take that tiller and load it up on here and hopefully get something done. All right, just gotta straighten it out. I had to pull it uh, this way just so it wasn't resting on that gate in the back. Uh, I think I could scooch it around and strap it down and get this thing out of here to start getting repairs done. Okay, and one small snag with quick attaches. It's not the quick attaches fault, it's all these implement makers. Um, but I gotta switch it back and forth and I don't remember all the settings, so. I left it on the setting from the tiller. I hitched up to here. Top is beautiful, but the bottom here, not sure if you could see it or not, but it's it's airborne, okay? So the whole thing is resting on this top piece. So what I gotta do is I gotta take and lower this one notch, basically, the top link. So it's not a perfect system and kind of a headache going back and forth, but until all these implement makers get together and make it unified, that's what we got to do. So let's do it and get going. Well, the only saving grace is because I've done this <clears throat> for so many years is I at least have all the tools right here. I have the one wrench that I need right here sitting right on top of the toolbox. So it's a relatively fast change. Okay, so I'm finally hooked up with the disc and heading out. But here's one thing I like about the radio, my memory card. So, I want to listen to Good Feeling, I can listen to it. Uh, Back in Black, you name it, Quiet Riot, it's all on the SD card. Branson Tractor, quality. Yeah! Got some quail here. Guys, go. Uh, three quails came out of the cover. Missed them. Oh, there's one way up there. That's awesome.
So now I'm at the second spot and uh, the fence was down again. Unplugged it, plugged it back in and it started right back up again. So, but now I have it disconnected. I'm gonna drive over the line. This is where a tiller would be much better in this tight space in here because I can't be going over this fence, but I'll just do the best I can to rough it up and then come and get it planted. I'll still get some uh, good tonnage to grow in here but the tiller would definitely be a little better in this kind of a spot here. So basically I'm backing up, backing up on each of these and just hitting them straight. Get the job done. Corn is a little wimpy, but a lot of ears growing on them. Little Benny and the Jets. Okay, so this time I'm gonna take all the seed with me and only the drag. Get it all seeded, get it dragged, and then I'm gonna run the cultipacker with the uh, Branson this time. Uh, provided we don't get a pop-up rain shower. It's just looking kinda, kinda that way. Let's see if we can get her done. All right, here we go. Um, before I start though, this is a, a new, it's a four seed mix that Curtis put together. I know it's wheat, oats, triticales, or tritsical, or whatever you call it, and there's one more fourth large seed, the winter seed, that I don't recall. So if you live anywhere within about an hour from here and you want some good seed that won't break the bank like all the fancy pictures on the bag, give Curtis a call there, Heartland Deer Management. It's uh Low budget, but good seed for the average working guy. So let's roll. Okay, this inside plot here, all I did was I planted the seed and I ran over it with the ATV, kind of a lightweight cultipacker uh, because it's starting to get late. Uh, the ATV's low on fuel now and I'm running low on fuel and I want to get that other one planted. So what you'll see here is unless we get a lot of rain is you'll see the green stuff start coming up in the four-wheeler tracks you know that's how you know cultipackers work but this is good enough to get it planted we got a lot of rain in the forecast for the next probably week to 10 days okay so this far north one is done uh, at least the seed is all down i put the four seed mix down i dragged it then i put the uh, brassica and clover down and now I'm going to cult the packet. Uh, this is the one way down in them weeds right there was a watering hole that didn't turn out too good. But I hope to come finish that yet. So cult the packing it and then we're out of here. Okay, so I slid the draw bar all the way out. And I got the cult the packer hooked up. It looks like I'll have plenty of room for turning around, no problem at all. So this will be much easier on me and the ATV. Yeah, baby, got a little Doobie Brothers. Set the crates. Right, now this is how I should have been called the packing. This is how I should have been called the packing all along. Better late than never, though. Uh, this thing, I mean, I could feel it on the Branson, but hardly at all. I mean, 
I never weighed that thing. That could be three quarters of a ton. Who knows? It will take a few spins around. Get this uh, corn plot cultipacked. Then head over to the other one. Just hit 50 hours. Guess that means it's time for the 50 hour review. Nice. Another nice little sense of accomplishment today. I've been dragging ever since that last weekend when I did the first three plots and finally got myself out of the house here. Feels good to get something else done. I hear the fence still ticking, so it's been on the last couple hours since I reset it. Time to go home.